Hi everyone, welcome to another video. This is The Elevate Project, I'm Ryan, and today we're gonna to be talking about real estate videography. In another video, I talked about monetization opportunities through YouTube. So for the last couple of years, I've been in YouTube videos, obviously getting all the gear, and I've talked a little bit about client work, and I wasn't very specific on the different types of client work that I've had an opportunity to do. And one of those opportunities has been real estate videography. So what is real estate videography? So for a, if you're trying to sell your house or you're trying to buy a house, usually go through Zillow or MLS and you typically are searching for different types of homes. And the one of the most specific things or certain expectations, one is photos. You want to have a good feel and look of what each of the rooms look like, what the exterior home looks like. And for certain MLS listings or real estate listings, there is what they call Matterport or a 360 degree view. Now, depending on where you live, real estate videos is not always an option where you can actually see and feel video or the home through video. So, I found during the pandemic that there was a huge amount of demand for real estate videography. Now, my take on real estate videography is a trailer and not necessarily a full virtual walkthrough. One of the reasons why is because there are a lot of listings when you're searching for a home, buying or selling. And to filter through you have a lot of things that will be engaged that will want you to get that home. One could be very just descriptive. Does it have enough rooms? Does it have enough square footage? Does it have enough amenities around it that make it worthwhile to view that home? Then there are the photos. The photos you're looking at, hey, can I picture myself living in this home? Can I picture myself with my furniture and all the things, my my family and all the rooms, is there a home office, is there a theater room, all those different types of things. Then you take it a step further and then you have the virtual walkthrough. You can really see the floor plan. Now, where does real estate videography really land? Well, because of YouTube and because of the pandemic, video is really becoming a demand for a lot of different things, social media and YouTube. And when it comes to real estate, it elevates the emotion that you can have towards a home. So when you have 10 different homes and you really want to filter it down to two or three homes that you would actually willing to step into and see the home live, video can help elevate that experience and really make the decision if that's one of the homes that you would want to view. I find that Having a video is more like a trailer, just like a movie that you're going to be watching in the theater. In the trailer, you're not watching the whole movie. You're watching the features, the really things that stand out, and that is where I come in. I really love the opportunity to the creative side of videography, also my passion for real estate, and in and in turn, for my clients, realtors, buyers, and sellers, it helps enhance their emotion to the actual listing. And I find that if I can help entice them or elevate that listing, when you when the actual buyer <laughs> goes into the home, the real estate agent or the person that will help view the home can really give you the actual view of the house, the better feeling, and the experience as if you were living there or if it will suit your needs. And of course, photos can be deceiving where videos just creates the, enhances the emotion. And then you'll, of course, you have the 360 view. So that is one of the pieces of client work that I'm doing. And I've done a few different things like events, sports events. My daughter does Highland Dance, doing things for her studio. But really, I'm really starting to just narrow it down now and just do real estate. Yes, I do some other video work. I still do events. And I'm slowly fading that out and really just narrowing in on focusing on real estate. 
one, I'm starting to get a lot more client work. I'm getting more loyal clients that want videos. Video is really growing and depending on your area. So I wonder if they want to talk about real estate videography on my channel, talking about what I use, the gear I use, the settings I use, also frame rate, shutter speed, editing, all the different things to really see maybe this might be an interest for you. And this can still even help you in the different types of videos that you want to create for YouTube. For instance, in real estate videography, yeah, I don't necessarily have to use multicam. So having one camera is absolutely fine when you're doing videography just to get as much of the room as possible and give the more realistic view. You're going to be using a lot of different lenses, lens choice, doing, let's say, detail shots to really key in on certain things of the home and really enhance, let's say, the different features like lighting, countertops, stovetops, etc. And you want to use that wide lens to really show how big a room can be where you can add different furniture, etc. And then there's also the added part of creativity and showing the amenities of the home using drones. Now, I haven't put a lot of drone footage, if any, thus far on my YouTube channel. I will be showing the, the drone that I use, the different drones that you can use. You don't have to buy the newest and greatest when it comes to real estate videography. You don't necessarily even a pilot license or a license depending on the size of the different types of drones that are available today. So it's very exciting industry, especially that we're moving into video. So hopefully you'll be sticking around. If you want to see more content like that, hit that like button, hit subscribe, because we are moving in that direction where we're going to be talking more about the different tripods, the gear, the gimbals, and all the different things. And you're probably starting to notice that with some of the gear review that I'm doing on my channel. And I'll probably also show some differences in the different gear that I use for different events just to show some client work where you can create some income when maybe you're not even monetized yet and it could be another stream of income if you are monetized. So if you found some value in this video, you know what to do. And if you like content like this one, especially moving forward, watch video over here and watch another video over here. Be safe, stay awesome, and I'll catch you in the next one.